the 28th annual senior inform. Learn more right after this. My college offers classes that meet my educational and career goals. With opportunities outside of the classroom. Where the faculty know me by name. My college can prepare me for my career. I can earn an associate's degree and transfer credits toward my bachelor's. My college is a top military friendly college. My college is affordable. It's close to home. My college is a state college within the University System of Georgia. It's where excellence begins. We are. We are. We are. We are GHC, Georgia Highlands College. Welcome to Community Watch. Great. Doug. How are you doing? Uh, I don't know. I'm starting to get to that point where... You're not feeling old, are you? <laughs> I might need to check on some of these services. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know, I was um, speaking to our, our guests before we uh, started, and uh, I honestly can't believe that it's been a year since the senior inform event that we did a show for i guess a year ago i mean it, it, yes. it seems like <laughs> it doesn't seem like a year ago um so i'm wondering now um uh, it would be nice to just slow things down a little bit because that that happened too fast yes real too fast and i mean the interesting thing about it is you really start th it really makes you think about you know as the aging population grows Yes. Uh, really, what's available and what does that look like? Because, you know, people are living longer and most people don't have enough in their pensions to last. You know, they outlive their pension. So it would be interesting to find out some new information. Well, this, uh, as I recall from last year, is a pretty big event. Yes. And um, well attended. And so we're going we're gonna to find out about the senior inform today. Uh, you will want, no matter what age you are, uh, to to learn more about this and to plan to be there. So we will be back with our guests and that information for you right after this. Don't go away. Average text takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. Welcome back to Community Watch, and we are very happy to have with us today uh, Regina Wright and Radonna Branton. Welcome back. I guess I should say welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. Seems like it was just last week. It doesn't seem like a year. But it has been. It has I mean, been you years. haven't uh, you haven't like moved up the time of nope. the event. It's the same time as it was last <laughs> same time. Same time every year. year. Uh, May is Older Americans Month, and that's when we always try to have it. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that explains you know that feeling that's coming on apparently. But yeah. <laughs> um, well. We need to start, I guess, uh, kind of where we did last year for those folks who are not familiar with the event. Um, what exactly is the event and, and what are your roles with the event? Well, Regina and I are part of a group called Senior Promotions Council. We are sponsored by the Rome Floyd County Parks and Recreation Authority, and we do several events throughout the year to help our senior citizens, one of them being the Senior and Forum. It's always in May. This year it's on Wednesday, May the 4th, at uh, the Forum in downtown Rome. And we always put this on. We have tickets that are available. Usually we sell out pretty quickly. We have 500 folks that show up at the forum for this. Uh, we have vendors from all different entities that come around to talk about what's available to our senior citizens, uh, help them plan for those days. 
um, that may be ahead or if they're in the process of caring for someone. Now, now let me stop you just for a second because I just noticed that this form says it's the 28th annual. Is that mm -hmm. possible? 28 yes, years. 28 years. And since y'all are, I'm guessing, 24, 25, you could not No, it was way before our time. Way before our time. The event actually started out at the Charles C. Parker Senior Center. And from there, it was, got too small. So we moved to the Civic Center. Then the Civic Center got mm -hmm. too small. And the Civic Center got too small. The Civic Center got too small, and mm -hmm. now we're at the Forum. The Civic Center is pretty decent sized. Uh, so that's yeah, about 500 people. And that's just through. the seniors. That's not yeah. counting that the vendors. And well, let me ask you this, if we're done. If, what other, are there any other communities that have a senior in form such as like this that, that Rome has? Not that I know of. Not, there's been mm -hmm. several counties that have tried to get it started and it, there's just not mm -hmm. been the interest. So with us hosting this event, we draw from surrounding yeah. counties. Bartow, Polk, Saul, Carrollson, Dade, and Gordon. So, so once again, just for those viewers out there, <laughs> Rome, <laughs> Rome really has a lot of services that our yes. neighboring communities don't offer. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And, you know, everybody thinks when we get on here to talk about the Senior and Forum, we're talking about, you know, planning your funeral and hospice and needing long-term care and all that kind of stuff. And that stuff is important. Yeah, it's important. But one of the things, when we're trying to come up with themes every year, it's amazing when you come to these events and you see 80 and 90 year old people up dancing around mm -hmm. and shaking a jig, you know, when the music's playing and you're like, wow, I want to be like that when mm -hmm. I'm 80, you know. So this year we have put a little spin on it and we are putting the active in the active adult this year. We're having different, different demonstrations to show some of the activities that are put on in the Rome area mm -hmm. that are for the senior citizen population. And the Rome Braves is going to also make a showing. Uh, they're going to be there and, and talk with us a little bit. Uh, and always we have food, so uh, Chick-fil-A, we're going to be having a lunch for everybody. It's just a fun field day for seniors mm. and a lot of information. You know, I, every time we do this show, I, I can't help but think back to going through the whole ordeal with my mom before she passed. And it's just so much you don't know, you don't know. Okay. until that time comes and, and navigating that system can be very difficult and intimidating mm -hmm. when you're talking to different providers mm -hmm. and you're talking to different insurance companies it can be very difficult and just outright intimidating and if you're not persistent you know I can easily see people getting frustrated and elderly people not getting the services they deserve and need because you just don't understand the system. So part of the senior inform will be providers there correct? Exactly. That will be able to help people with understanding the system. Well, I've been in the health field a little over 10 years, and my mother-in-law came and lived with us last year, and I had no idea when it really got down to it with all the options that Floyd County has. And so to have the references and everything that, that Floyd County has, it's amazing. And if you don't get the information and come to things like this, you never know. One of the things that we do put on as a Senior Promotions Council is the Senior Directory. And in that directory lists a lot of the different services that are available, uh, whether it be CCSP, Source, um, the Area Agency on Aging, there's all the different um, assisted livings, nursing homes, um, medical equipment companies, um, hospice companies, and all are listed in there. And we kind of put it in a nice little booklet that's an easy reference tool. It's everything in there from the, you know, the utility that people may use to special services that are available. Um, another thing that we have done is um, we did last year around Valentine's Day we did pull up your heart for seniors and um, we collected pull-ups and diapers for those that are in need that experience incontinence because that is an item that is not covered by Medicare or secondary insurance and there's a lot of people that need those they just don't have the funds so we help sponsor that event to be able to stock a closet with those. Um, we also help the Sheriff's Department with Santa for Seniors so that's a fun event that we always like to do. It's nice to hear the stories um, it's not Santa for Seniors, it's not income based, it's just for those that are 
They're lonesome. Lonesome mm -hmm. and have no one to share Christmas with. So um, this year we had a lot of corporate sponsorship companies wanting to get involved. And we almost had more sponsorship mm -hmm. than we had per people that had the need that mm -hmm. we was aware of. Um, you know, sometimes it's as simple as people wanting an electric blanket or some oranges and socks. You know, their, their wishes aren't, but they enjoy the, the company and the visit because that's something they don't get very often. Well, um, I, I'm, I, I kind of want to get one of the copies of that directory because sure. um, how useful uh, <laughs> would that have been well, several times in my past. Yeah, but. there's choices now. You know, you used to, you chose this, 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 or that, and now there's different choices in the home health, the assisted mm -hmm. living, the medical uh, supplies, uh, and it's all listed in these directories. But I, I, since you brought up um, having to deal with with uh, your mom and and um, I know I've I've had s somewhat similar experiences with my uh, in laws and my own father. Um, the the uh, caregiving role that job um, when it when it falls to you is is so much more difficult than you could possibly imagine um, and i'm i'm guessing uh, that those people either who are currently in that situation uh, need to, need to attend this as well because uh, they're going to find a lot of things that, that will help them through that experience. It really is. We talk about the baby boomer generation, uh, and now the baby boomers are getting into the senior generation themselves. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's for any age. Any age can come because we have adult children that needs to come for their parents, that needs to come for themselves. Regina and I... Um are both uh, involved with the Alzheimer's Association. We both co-facilitate a uh, Alzheimer's support group. And one of the things that we do to start off our meeting is, is we ask the folks that come to our meeting, they're usually all caregivers, we ask, they have homework when they leave our meeting, and we ask them to do something for themselves. Because as a caregiver, if you don't take time for you for just a little bit, and you get yourself worn out and ran down and sick, then who's going to care for your loved one and you? So we ask them to do something for themselves, whether it be, you know, every evening for 30 minutes they go outside and walk, walk around their yard and someone else takes over and they're not having to deal with anything of being a caregiver. Whether it be every Saturday morning, you know, they get the morning off and can either lay in bed or run errands or get their hair done, whatever. We ask them to have homework and ask them to report back. And it's amazing how excited mm -hmm. they are mm -hmm. to share with us of what they got to do and leave that caregiver role. Quick question. You know, when you say senior, what age group, or, or man, because I think there's a technical age for a senior, then we kind of have, I know that AARP mm -hmm. kind of have this kind of expanded. Yeah, but they what kind of say 50 and over. Yeah. I, I just, Seriously? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you can I become know. a member of AARP <laughs> like, you know, 50 <laughs> something. Yeah, so, so when we say senior, what age I are think we 95 and older. I, I, I agree. <laughs> well, you know, a lot of people think because they are AARP eligible at 50, that means they can retire and they're ready for Medicare benefits. That's not true. You can take advantage of your Medicare benefits starting at 63, but you take a cut. If you wait to 65 mm -hmm. today, you know, you get to draw your full amount. You know, by the time I get there, if there's any left, you know, who knows how old it'll be. She's just bragging about her age. <laughs> My husband and I both say that, you know, when we retire, we'll, it'll be, you know, our death is when we'll get to retire, you know. But, um, you know, it, it is amazing at some of the things. But, and like I said, we, people always think, you know, that's what we're planning for is, is when I can't take care of myself. But part of taking care of yourself is being active. And one of the things that we want to promote at this year's Senior Inform is all the different activities to yeah. help keep you young. Um, my grandfather's 85. He walks the mall every single day. 
that man is 85 years old and sometimes I think he can get around better than than you know me and my kids and you know he's active and and in, in perfectly good health you know so uh, being active does help um, my family has started playing pickleball it's a new sport that seniors love and, and we're going to have a demonstration we're going to have a demonstration of that and it's amazing that some of those seniors that are out there you know they put me to shame very quickly <laughs> well uh, we're coming up on our break here in just a few seconds um, at home if you want to go for a walk right now make it a very brief one because we're going to be right back with a lot more information so uh, don't go too far away we'll be right back My college offers classes to meet my educational and career goals. With opportunities outside of the classroom. Where the faculty know me by name. My college can prepare me for my career. I can earn an associate's degree and transfer credits toward my bachelor's. My college is a top military friendly college. My college is affordable. It's close to home. My college is a state college within the University System of Georgia. It's where excellence begins. We are. We are. We are. We are GHC. Georgia Highlands College. Welcome back to Community Watch. We're talking with Regina Wright and Radonna Branton about the Senior Inform, which is coming up soon. Uh, Wednesday, May 4th, we'll be at the Forum, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Um, and it's $4 to get in? $4 to get in. Is that cheaper than last year? Or was it $4 to get in? Same price. Same price? And, and that, that and includes lunch. It includes <laughs> lunch. And a chance to win door prizes. Well, uh, not to mention all the valuable information mm -hmm. that you get. So, I mean, the price is uh, remarkable, really. Uh, but you say, uh, or at least your uh, poster says that tickets are available. Uh, and yes. it's probably a good idea to get tickets early, isn't you it? You have to get them early and you have to have your tickets in advance. There are no tickets sold at the door. No tickets at the door? No. Uh -huh. We, In fact, we usually sell out. We have none to sell at the door. Uh. And we reach our capacity and, and that's all we can sell. So they need to call the uh, Parker Center if, if they want to get these tickets and come over and purchase them. That all number, 706-234-0383. Right. <laughs> Okay, so we'll we'll give that number again uh, near the end of the show. So if you if you missed it, you might want to write that down. Get something to write with. So uh, during the break, um, I was kind of I mean you've got a basketball on the poster. I was I was kind of joking about basketball, but you're really going to have basketball. We're going to have a basketball demonstration. We're having a pickleball demonstration. We hope to have a ballroom dancing demonstration. One of the things that I have recently found out that is available with at the different senior centers is laughing yoga. Um, if you've never done yoga, I've been to one class. And it wasn't entitled Laughing Yoga, mm -hmm. but it did turn into <laughs> Laughing Yoga. So, so um, but that is a class that they offer. Um, pickleball, of course, I, I'm amazed at how huge pickleball is. Um, I was at the Parker Center the other day. I had ran in to talk with Tammy about some things, and there was some folks there that were doing arts and crafts, and they just meet. And what they have done, one person learned how, and they taught another one. They weave pine straw into bowls. It was the coolest, prettiest things you've ever seen. And it wasn't just a limp, you know, you think you put pine straw together, it's going to be limp how you can, no, those bowls were very stout. Hmm. So our seniors love the interaction. Um, their senior softball, they play softball there. There's a softball That's league. every Thursday morning, 10 o'clock. <laughs> at, Al at Alto at Park. Alto Park. Are you serious? Uh, yes. So you, wait a minute. Softball. There is a 90 year old <laughs> softball pitcher mm -hmm. up at Alto Park on Thursdays. Thursday mornings at 10 o'clock. Uh, they I play. We have two teams. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Riverwood sponsors a team, and there's another sponsor for the team right at home. Right at home. Sponsors a team, and they play, and they just have a ball. It's it's wonderful to go watch. Wow. Every Wednesday they meet at the Charles C. Parker Senior Center, and there are banjos, fiddles, guitars. I mean, all kinds of instruments. They have what's called Georgia Mountain Music. So there are seniors that are very active that are looking for things to do mm. to interact. Um, they have line dancing, there's different art classes, they do uh, silver sneakers. I mean, at these senior centers, there are a lot of things, you know, 
we think, oh, they've got to get out and walk and do this. Yes, that's great, but a lot of times just to have conversation with someone mm -hmm. else and interact, mm -hmm. all those kind of things keep your mind active and all keeps keeps folks young. You know, when you listen to you talk, I guess the image, you know, that I have in the past about senior, senior citizen parks or places, uh -huh. you know, you just think of a bunch of old people playing bingo, bingo. or and <laughs> and stuff like that. And they do, like they, they do, they, 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 they play bingo. <laughs> they do, but I'm saying, but, but, but I guess this, you know, we're healthier as a society, if, well, in some ways, we're living longer, but in living longer, because we have a member, uh, one of the godfathers, uh, John Stevenson, you know, he walked in the uh, MS walk, the, the 5K or whatever, he walked with us, you know, he's 83. Mm -hmm. So I guess if you are a caregiver or you are a senior, realizing there are activities that you can participate in at your age. Exactly. Because I mean, you don't have to just walk. You yeah, can actually do more activities. You can than do just more walking. activities. I mean, like this year, one of the things we're doing to promote active living, we're having awards called Amazing Grays, like gray hair. And centers, nutrition centers, assisted livings, nursing homes, or whatever are nominating their Amazing Gray. Or if you know someone who is Amazing Gray, who, who you know has done something phenomenal, Call the Parker Center and nominate them. And then from all the mm -hmm. nominations, we're going to vote and look at the most amazing gray. Um, only qualifications is you have to be 65. I think so. That, 65, that goes back to the age again we were six, talking about. 65 to be, to be nominated. No, that's not necessarily fair, is it? Because if you're 65 <laughs> and you're pitching at 90, and there's a 90-year-old pitcher, that's a different class <laughs> <of> education. <laughs> He, he deserves the top hat award. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a different classification. But, yeah. you know, like I would, for example, my, my daughter is 20 and my son's 27. And as a family, we go to the Thornton Center and play pickleball. And there are people there in their 60s, 70s, 80s. You know, there is a wide range age group all the way. The youngest one, there was a little fella there that was 12 watching his sister practice for basketball and he come over and wanted to know what was going on so they taught him to play so I mean it's a wide range so people can learn and have something fun to do with their grandchildren um, or their children and, and make it a fun family event and that's what this forum does it gives you all this information uh, at one place you can have fun plus get all the resources that you need well you know I guess I can see the a switch in that in previous years we've talked about the show we've there's been an emphasis on some years I guess on providers mm -hmm. getting the information I guess y'all done a great job of getting information out and so I guess you come kind of full circle in that you know we have this growing elderly community that are still active mm -hmm. and how do we tie them in so that people in the community can become mm -hmm can stay connected into that. Well, it's, it's amazing. And like I said, kind of what started it was the push to, to promote pickleball. And then, then we were like, well, there's other things besides pickleball going on. And that was where it came to be talking about the line dancing, you know, the ballroom dancing, the laughing yoga. The 90-year-old softball, softball. Pitcher. You know, there, <laughs> there's just a lot of events, you know, things that go on, you know, basket weaving out of pine straw. I mean, you know. Do you play pickleball? I've seen it played, but I've never played it. Tuesday night at 6 o'clock at the Thornton Center. Tuesday and Thursday at, at 6 at the Thornton Center. And then they also play in Lindale, but I don't know those times because I always go to the Armurchie one. So. I'm not playing nobody 60 or 70 because if I get beat, then I will be upset. <laughs> <laughs> so that well, it, it's, a, it's amazing <laughs> because they they are competitive. I mean, mm -hmm. and, and they, they want to win. Yeah. And, you know... The little young kids come in thinking, oh, yeah, we got this. You know, these old people, they got knee braces and ankle <laughs> braces and <laughs> wrist braces, you know. But yeah. they're good. Th that's camouflage. That's all <laughs> camouflage. <laughs> yeah. Jedi mind trick. Exactly. They're, they're ready. Exactly. They're ready. Well, um, the event sounds, uh, I, mean, I remember last year it sounded like it would be a lot of fun, but uh, even more so this year, it seems well, like. Well, that's one of the things, you know, talking about getting older, your health going bad, those are not fun <laughs> topics. I yeah. mean, you know, it's just not what anybody wants to think about. So we're trying to, we always try to, you know, there's the information there if you need it, but yet we want to make it fun and entertaining. Um, they, We've done several different um, 
themes. themes throughout the years. We've done Cinco de Mayo. We've done a patriotic theme. We've done um, a rock theme. and roll. We've mm -hmm. done a beach theme. So twenty-eight things. <laughs> yeah. So it's coming up with a different thing. You know, we were throwing things out there this year. Okay, how can we include, you know, a theme and entertainment? You know, because. It's, it's hard sometimes right. coming up trying to make it creative and fun so that they're just not sitting there thinking, oh, I got to walk around these tables and, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but but I, have to, I have to say that the comfort of knowing or the ease of mind of knowing that there, there is an organization and there are resources and information available just the thought of a directory. I, mean, I can just, I, if I had that situation over again with my mom, does, I know I would have a directory mm -hmm. right now. And it's almost to the fact if you got elderly parents. You could probably parents, write your own directory uh, now. But. Yeah, but I'm just well, saying, but I mean, you, it's the, the fact that we have resources available. People need to really take advantage of them. And the CE Inform is a good, is a great place to start learning about some of these resources that are available. Well, it is, and we had an incident, um, it's been a couple of months ago, one member of our council was approached about a situation. She wasn't sure exactly where to go or where it needed, and an email went out. So there was like mm -hmm. this chain of emails back and forth, do you know who might can do this? You know, so it was like, well, try this, try that. The, fa the patients did not live here, was trying to get here to be close to family, and finally, through trial and error and call so-and-so, call so-and-so, we got the family member taken care of here locally. So those kind of things, you know, sometimes it can be strategic. And when you've got a group of people that can pull together, it, it you know, it's very rewarding to know that, that we were able to help that person. And it is, you know, we have support groups here in Rome. We have all, a lot of different groups, like you were talking about, that you might have needed with your mom. So that this is also a source of information for that. Um, and you know, it, it seems like not just with this, but with so many things, you, you wait until you have to have mm -hmm. it before you make the effort to yeah. and, you know, research it all. Mm -hmm. and, and really, that's not the best way. So um, th this event can help in, in so many ways of knowing in advance yeah. what to do. So it does, and uh, we have, how many vendors will we have there? 25? Uh, usually we have 25 to 30 vendors, and we're always needing more. So if anybody sees this and wants to be a vendor, please call the Charles C. Parker Center. We would love to have you to be able to talk about your services yeah. that are out there for seniors as well. And it's uh, $4 in advance, including lunch. Including mm -hmm. lunch. Mm -hmm. And door prize, a chance to and win door, door prize. prize. And we serve you. Uh, you just sit at your table and we, we bring your Chick-fil-A no, food. If they, if, they, if, they if they that active, they can get that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's amazing. We have all the folks that come together, the vendors that help out. And we have the lunches. Like it goes like clockwork. Mm -hmm. We have those boxes on those flow carts and lunches out in just a matter of minutes. Well, we're coming up on another break. When we come back, I will give you the particulars about the Senior Inform and the phone number you need to get tickets. Don't go away. Closer to nature can get you closer to your family. Go to discovertheforest.org. Welcome back to Community Watch. We've been talking with Regina Wright and Redonna Branton about the Senior End Forum, which is Wednesday, May 4th, coming up soon. But you have to go ahead and get your tickets now because you cannot get tickets at the door. They're $4, and you need to call this number. 706-234-0383. That's the Parker Center. So call, get your tickets, make sure you go. This event sells out, so do it soon. Uh, thank you all very much. Thank you for letting us be here. And we'll see you next, uh, next year. I guess yeah, next year. <laughs> uh, bye now. See you next time.